UK as a whole, there's some tremendous fishing opportunities. Mm. Uh, what, what about up in what about up in Scotland? Where, what's, what's the fishing like in Scotland? Well, the fishing in Scotland is, is traditionally probably everybody thinks of Scotland as salmon fishing, and that's probably very true. Um, you've got you, you, you do a lot of your your fly fishing instruction in Scotland, don't you? I do. Yes, I do. On, on the Tay, uh, the the D, um, the Spay, uh, the Tweed, uh, to mention. Uh, a few, mm. and those are probably the premier rivers in Scotland. But there are hundreds of rivers besides that. There's the Doon and the Don and the Devron, and I could go on. Mm. All these rivers have uh, runs of sea trout and salmon, and uh, so therefore are quite um, quite heavily fished uh, mm. for for that particular species. And it's it's quite beautiful up in that part of the oh, it's tremendous. The UK, I mean, it? It's like it's going up into some tremendous scenery that you would never see in any other part of the world. Mm. Um, you can be fishing in a glen mm. and the stags will be coming down to water mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and you'll see uh, golden eagles and offspray mm. and all these birds you wouldn't normally see mm. in, the, in the very densely populated Middle England. Mm. Having said that, we do have ospreys coming over in Norfolk occasionally because they migrate. Mm. And I can remember a, a, we had a junior course up in uh, North Norfolk on a view of Valley Lakes. Mm and all the coots suddenly disappeared. So we could tell the boys to put the rods down for a minute and watch. Mm. Now they'd been striving to catch a fish all day and they mm. hadn't caught one. And this osprey came round, circled, came straight down in front of them and picked up a three pound, three pound trout oh, really? and flew off with mm. it. So yeah. mm. um, we do have uh, some wonderful wildlife up here, mm. down here as well, but obviously Scotland is the place to go mm. for that sort of thing. And what, what, what about the um, the lock fishing that you've been uh, you've been doing recently? Where is that? That's on Loch Awe. We've got a 27 mile lock. Loch Awe is the longest r lock in Scotland. It's 27 miles long. It ranges in depth from about uh, two feet to about 400. Um, it carries a tremendous range of species on there but mainly predatory fish. And let's face it, trout are predatory as much as uh, pike and, and uh, uh, ferox trout are in there and we've got a whole range of other species. We've got arctic char um, as well as perch. And Weren't you saying something special about the size of the fish in, in the lock? Yes, yeah, well this is, there's some very big fish in, in there. We've got pike up 30 pounds, must be 30 pounds plus in there. We've certainly got uh, ferox trout the biggest one so far that's been caught is about 17 pounds. Um, and they're just like one piece of muscle. They're a brown trout that's been bred and lived in that lock for a great number of years at a great depth and is, is actually predating on all the rest of the species in the, in, in the water. Mm -hmm. um, so they're quite uh, very well marked and dark brown and uh, uh, they fight like nothing else. Mm. So when you catch one of those you know about it. And what we're teaching on the lock style is a true traditional lock style fishing, which is something that's been, again, going back in history, is how you used to fish a lock, where you get a boat and you drift it down the lock, uh, casting out in front of you as you go. And on that you have a drogue at the back of the, um, back of the boat that keeps your pace at a reasonable pace. And you're casting a team of flies in front of you and retrieve them in. But then, of course, if it gets a bit windy and, the, and you get a bit of chop on the water, just a little bit of um, chop on that water, you can do dapping. Now, dapping is where you have floss, and so you have a very long rod, about 11 or 12 feet long. It sounds very complicated. It isn't. Actually, dapping, anybody can do it, because you've got this very long, blowy floss. You just hold it in the wind with your flies tied on the bottom, in a team of flies about a foot or two foot apart, and they just kiss the waves as the wind blows it. And this really aggravates the trout and they come up and smack it and you can have some quite good sport that way. Mm. Mm. It's not often taught to people but we teach, we're showing people what they can do, mm. lock style fishing out there. Mm. And then of course, when they've done that, we can take them down the lock trolling. That's where we put a spinners out at the side of the boat, either side. We go down at about a mile and a half an hour, uh, very steady through the lock, trolling with the spinners and setting the depth as deep as we can. Mm. Um, now with the bigger boats that we use, we've got four um, outriggers on there and we can uh, tow through there, covering about uh, well, most of the lock in the day. But, so um, is it, if I want to do that, am I coming on a, on a day trip or am I coming on a, on a holiday, a week? What, well, we're, what doing a three, we're doing three day holidays up there, three day trips, four nights. 
and you can come up there. If you're a complete beginner, never done it before, we generally get you in a group of six and we'll teach you the first day the best essence of casting. Right. Then we'll take you out and show you how you can handle boats and, and, uh, and uh, fish the lock. We'll take you then out in groups and um, you'll be guided with a guide with you at all times, showing you what to do. Um, and very often you can catch these wild brownies round the round the margins of the lock because the smaller fish tend to come into the banks, uh, particularly in the evenings and uh, early mornings. So you can catch fish in that uh, that time. Mm -hmm. um, so, so if, also, if, what about the the other sort of areas around Scotland? If I wanted to sort of do a longer trip, if you want to go on a longer trip, well, we do trips on the River Tweed and the Spey and the Tay, and these can be these are generally six days of fishing because you can't fish in Scotland on Sunday. So mm -hmm. you generally arrive on the Sunday. Is that different to England? Different to England. We can fish all the, every day in England, but in Scotland um, you fish and you don't fish on Sundays. And uh, so the lets on the rivers are generally over six, day, uh, six days. Mm -hmm. People arrive on the Sunday, Sunday night. Um, if they've got partners with them, they, they're going to fish as well, so we, we divide them up into which beats they're mm. going to fish, so they know, know where they're going. So I can bring my wife with me? Oh, you can bring your wife with you, yes, certainly. The ones, the non-fishing partners, they generally like to go off and go around all the um, woollen mills and the and the, uh, the sort of things around Scotland you can see. The, there's some lovely um, uh, areas that you can see around that part of the world. Uh, they generally go and look at the old sites whilst uh, the guys go fishing. But hey, some of the women decide to fish as well, you know. And they catch more fish than we do. R really? Is that, are you joking? No, I'm not joking, no. I mean, they hold all, of, all the world records, or the, well, not the world records, but all the national records. The lady has the heaviest fish.